Hey there, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we have this time is the Kohetsu Algami R Blue Number no. 2 Nashiji Guto 210mm knife. So uh, the way these knives are made is they have a three layer construction. So they've got a hardcore cutting edge steel, which you can see right here. And you can also actually see it on the spine. So the cladding on these does not does not cover the spine. So that is reactive steel. Uh, so you've got a make sure you keep the top dry as well as of course the sides of the blade generally you just want to use the knife clean it dry it very very well before you put it away just make sure it's clean and dry don't let it sit wet even if you do have stainless on the sides but the cladding is soft stainless on either side of that hardcore cutting edge steel heat treat on that uh, core steel which is algami blue paper number two reactive is about 62 rockwell so again you got a reactive core steel and a stainless cladding the uh, weight and dimensions on these are going to vary a little bit from knife to knife, but this particular one is 181 grams or 6.4 ounces. Edge length is right about 215 millimeters or about 8.4 inches. And the overall length about 14.3 uh, or 364 millimeters. The spine thickness, these are typically heavy, kind of thicker, stiffer knives. They're definitely not like finesse knives. They're kind of like a... a backroom brawler. They've got some muscle to them. They are not delicate. Uh, they're just kind of big and beefy and that's the style of this entire line of knives no matter what kind you get typically. So I've got about four and a half millimeters in thickness on the spine back above the back of the heel called the chin back there and it, it thins down to about 2.7 on this one and maybe a holds that maybe slightly thinner but not much until you get the grind and the grind's fairly generous and it is about where you see that line change they've got kind of a sandblasted finish for the blade road as you get ground and there's your edge steel right there but so they thin the tip out a bit it's not a super skinny tip but they do thin it out a bit with the grind and then here's what the choil looks like again not a super thin edge on these i got some muscle to them fairly thick stout blade. Height on this one's about 47 and a half millimeters at the back. It's a fairly thin neck on this, so uh, there's lots of clearance for your finger. You've got a fairly long gap there between the choil and the handle, and the ferrule, so plenty of room for your finger. Just nestles right in there for a pinch grip. The handles, uh, just good basic octagonal ambidextrous walnut with a black pack of wood ferrule. I got around 73, 74 millimeters where the two materials meet in circumference. And the uh, balance point is going to be on this particular knife about right there. And in terms of pinch grip for my hand, which is smaller side of medium, is about right pretty close to that. So it's pretty neutral even though it's got a little heft to it. But it does make you feel like you got a knife in your hand for sure. Uh, fit and finish on these, they have a lot of interesting features to them, and the fit and finish is pretty well done, I think. They're usually ground well, they're usually straight. Uh, Edge-wise, this one at about a 6 out of 10. They tend to have 5 to 6 out of 10 edges on them in my book, but of course this steel will get super sharp. So again, they've got kind of a sandblasted finish for the blade ground area, and then they've got a kind of a hammered finished with some texture. They call it Nishiji, but it's a little different than that. But it's got a kind of a Kuruuchi gunmetal gray finish on top of that. You've got some, what appears to me, some hand chiseled or hand engraved kanji uh, over that. And then a little bit of embossed kanji towards the back. That's the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it. Here is the left side of the blade. Everyone's going to be a little different. They have uh, relieved the edges of the spine a little bit. They relieved the edges and done some polishing on the choil, so it's pretty comfortable right out of the box. Let's look at the cutting board profile. So here's what it's going to look like. And every knife can be slightly different, but this will give you a general idea. So they have a fairly aggressive belly towards the tip, and then kind of a just kind of a shallow belly towards the rear. The heel does not have a real stop on it. It just kind of flows, almost a little back belly there. Um, so again, not a big stop or some chopping, although you could do some chopping in the back half of this blade. You, this will rock nice though, uh, because you can get way up there because that tip has a fairly aggressive belly to it and a fairly high tip, kind of midpoint to the knife center line. 
so you can definitely rock the heck out of this thing and do a little bit of chopping towards the back, push pull glide cuts and so on. So definitely not uh, super friendly to a ton of chopping, uh, but again, every blade can be slightly different, but that's your general, general kind of uh, profile on these. So this is the Kohetsu Aogami Blue Number no. 2 Nashiji Guto 210 millimeter knife.